Hi everyone, welcome to this session which is about the power of events. Um, I'm very glad that you click on my video. Uh, please um, stay if you want to know more about how to grow your business, um, how to be more influential uh, online but also offline, if you want to build a community, but also if you want to know what's the marketing behind um, events actually or how to um, to make more of your own events so stay here if you want to know some tips about marketing but also events so first of all let me introduce myself I am Kessia Dupro I am a project manager of um, at Jeune Afrique Media Group Jeune Afrique Media Group is a magazine uh, that has been created 60 years ago so a very long time and eight years ago we decided to create events, um, very famous events in the business industry. We gather around 2,000 people for our main event, for example, which is the Africa CEO Forum, and we bring together African CEOs, policy makers, influential policy makers, investors, uh, presidents, ministers. A lot of people come to our events just to network and I'm going to share with you two parts of my job today and you will see the relationship with marketing first I will explain you how to um, to do prospection how to find sponsors because must even need sponsors and number two I will share with you some tips on how to woo your event uh, online as well so stay here if you want to know more so first of all, unless uh, you have a lot of money, um, you will need some partners, some sponsors to make to be able to do professional events. I'm not talking about unprofessional ones. I'm talking about professional events. So first of all, the first question most people ask is why do we need sponsors? That's maybe the first question you ask yourself. First of all, is to have a business model that allows us or maybe you to be profitable because um, no matter how many attendees come you know that you will be profitable that you will be able to pay the venue the beverage the food and even some speakers that are coming you need to pay them so it's very important to have some sponsors that can uh, allow you to be stable financially number two is a great way to offer quality content um, to your attendees. People are attracted to what they know actually. So if you are not known, or even if you are known, um, if you are, um, for example, partners with a very famous um, institution, people in people's mind, your credibility, your quality, the quality of your brand, will be associated to your partners and sponsors. For example, in Jeune Afrique Media Group, uh, Jeune Afrique Media Group is um, sponsored by, for example, the World Bank. So when people come, they know that they will have very high quality content because of the World Bank, just to give you one of our sponsors. Another thing, is a way to create a very great and good image uh, in people's mind. As I said before, people are positioning your brand according to your sponsors. Very well-known brand and sponsors, people will associate you to that brand. So very be picky about your sponsors and, and why you choose them as well. It's very important. So, the second question that people ask sometimes is what activities can I sponsor and can be sponsored, sorry, and you can actually sponsor your entire program. Let's say you do a workshop, you can sponsor your workshop, you can sponsor a panel debate, you can sponsor um, breakfast, you can sponsor a uh, gala dinner, coffee breaks, a lot of things can be sponsored and this will help you uh, to be profitable. So again, choose well and, and really look at things that you can sponsor. It's a great way also to 
um, to be profitable and to make the best experience for your attendees as well. Um, so every moment, to, to give you an example, can be um, can be sponsored, and for example, can be the the coffee breaks, but also the counterpart for your sponsors can be the fact that um, they can in counterpart they can have um, a speech session, they can have the presence of their logo. Uh, on tables for example um, they can have roll-ups as well behind speakers so that people see that they are the one who who are the partners for this session so think a little bit of what you can offer to your sponsors so that they will be willing to be sponsors so that's very important and the last part but not least Sometimes people don't know who they have to talk to to actually um, uh, get sponsorship. So let me give you an example. So I am working for uh, the Women Working for Change Initiative of Genève Hate Media Group, which is the Women Initiative. And um, related to gender topics, when you want to, to get sponsorship from great companies, you will need to talk to different people. It can be the HR uh, director because they are in charge of, uh, of women also. It can be the diversity lead. It can be the gender director. It can be the communication director because sometimes people want to give sponsorship just to, to show a better communication. They have budget for it. So do not hesitate to to try to target the communication director um, and also the women topic is very trendy nowadays so it's another way um, it can be the marketing director it can be the Africa head because we're working for the continent so try to see who you can talk to in the company they not usually there is no one not only one person that uh, you can talk to. Maybe you will have many people. And the last question also that people ask me is, how do I get in contact with these people? First of all, you need to make a list of people uh, you, you plan to, to contact. It's very important to know and to be able to see, okay, I contacted this person in September, let me contact you, her again in October or him again in December. So you can contact them through LinkedIn, you can contact them by email, but also during events, these people are human beings. So maybe they are speakers, maybe um, they, they will attend this event. If you know it, go there, do not be shy and just attend and network. And maybe you will find your potential sponsor. So it's another way to get sponsors is going to events or to target events you know you may find your potential um, sponsors. So that was it concerning uh, the uh, prospection. Now I'm going to talk about a little bit more um, about how to wow your event, how to make sure that um, I'm going to explain a little bit more about marketing and events a little bit more in detail. So uh, the first interaction that people have is with your website. So people will get registered usually with your website. So that's where people learn a little bit more about your event. That's exactly when they decide if they want to attend or not. And ultimately they will have to click on the, res the registration button, sorry. So, um, People will navigate all through the pages and, and they will look at the event agenda, they will look at the program, they will see the speakers, they will see all the sponsors, they will see all the partners, they will see also the event community and of course the registration button. So the first thing is to think of is event registration. How do people get registered? When you know that, you will really be focused on 
um, your event website. It's super important to have a very clear website that um, allow people to be uh, impressed and to be willing to attend your event. Then you will have to promote your event because if people don't know about your event, people will not come to your event. So it's another part of my case of marketing its promotion so um, you will have to think uh, people will ask about the venue people will ask about the speakers they may ask you if there is a hotel near your event they will ask many things about other logistics so be ready to answer and be ready to think you will be ready by thinking before them what they need to know so uh, there is a lot of marketing tools um, that enable you to communicate with your uh, attendees. It can be before, during, and after your events. It can be through emails, it can be through social media. Uh, so you have to think also about promotion. So marketing is also promoting. So think about that as well. Also another thing concerning email, sometimes some session of your event will be really for some people and that's when you can segment users for example you can decide that this workshop will only be for women so you will have to segment your emails and and to ask yourself okay do I need this person to receive this workshop invitation yes or no so think as well about that how can you make sure that um, that uh, people are willing and really want to attend your event you have to segment uh, your users um, another thing will be the event networking and the engagement that's the third part um, one of the biggest reason people attend event is to network so uh, I did also an article about that why do you need to network is super important so um, I would like to say that first of all you can have a mobile app for your event but you need to design the app so that it can serve your brand so people can use uh, your mobile app for many reasons to connect with others to to have maybe uh, other potential clients clients sorry so um, it's a very very important sometimes to have a mobile app it helps people to connect better to know more about the social media they know that they are LinkedIn profile they know who they are it's very easy to connect when you have a mobile app for event so once the other uh, the event is over sorry another thing is to look at the statistics Marketing, sometimes people think it's only about logos, it's about the roll-up, it's about the website, it's about the social media, but marketing is also uh, numbers. We look at numbers, so you need to know um, a little bit more about your, for example, uh, your attendee satisfaction. Are they satisfied or not? What are their remarks? Where do they want the next event to be in Africa, in Europe, in America, in Paris, in the suburbs. So you will need to check that. And are they happy? Uh, do you, did they like the speakers? Did they like this session in particular? What did they think? So when you analyze very clearly some statistics, some numbers, you will be able to make your next event better. So marketing is not about feeling, sensation, it's really about analyzing events and to see what can be done better. So marketing is very important if you want to, um, to work in terms of strategy in the organization, if you want to uh, maybe give some insights, new ideas, always focus on numbers and statistics, not what you feel, feelings, but really on numbers. That's another tips. So then when you get the overall picture of your attendees, 
um, you will know your profile attendees, you will know the size of the company of your attendees, you will have a lot of insight and that's very important to know who your attendees are. So that was my tips on how to create very great events. I hope you will be willing to work uh, on marketing or to organize a very amazing and professional events. Thank you for watching and see you soon.